Devarim, Deuteronomy 15. At the end of every seven years, you shall make a release. And this is the manner of the release. Every creditor that lends aught unto his neighbor shall release it. He shall not exact it of at his neighbor or of at his brother, because it is called Yahuwah's release. At of a foreigner you may exact it again, but that which is yours with at your brother, your hand shall release, save when there shall be no poor among you. For Yahuwah shall greatly bless you in the land which Yahuwah Eloheka gives you for an inheritance to possess it. Only if you carefully hearken unto the voice of Yahuwah Eloheka to guard, to do, at all these commandments which I command you this day. For Yahuwah Eloheka blesses you as he promised you, and you shall lend unto many nations but you shall not borrow, and you shall reign over many nations, but they shall not reign over you. If there be among you a poor man of one of your brethren within any of your gates in your land, which Yahuwah Eloheka gives you, you shall not harden at your heart, nor shut at your hand from your poor brother, but you shall open at your hand wide unto him, and shall surely lend him sufficient for his need in that which he wants. Beware that there be not a thought in your wicked heart, saying, The seventh year, the year of release, is at hand, and your eye be evil against your poor brother, and you give him naught. And he cry unto El Yahuwah against you, and it be sin unto you. You shall surely give him, and your heart shall not be grieved when you give unto him. Because that for this thing, Yahuwah Eloheka shall bless you in all your works, and in all that you put your hand unto. For the poor shall never cease out of the land. Therefore I command you, saying, You shall open at your hand wide unto your brother, to your poor, and to your needy, in your land. And if your brother, an Ivri man or an Ivri woman, be sold unto you and serve you six years, then in the seventh year you shall let him go free from you. And when you send him out free from you, you shall not let him go away empty. You shall furnish him liberally out of your flock and out of your floor and out of your winepress, of that wherewith Yahuwah Eloheka has blessed you, you shall give unto him. And you shall remember that you were a bondman in the land of Mitzrayim, and Yahuwah Eloheka redeemed you. Therefore I command you at this thing today. And it shall be, if he say unto you, I will not go away from you, because he loves you and your house, because he is well with you. Then you shall take at an awl and thrust it through his ear unto the door, and he shall be your servant forever. And also unto your maidservant you shall do likewise. It shall not seem hard unto you when you send him away free from you, for he has been worth a double hired servant to you in serving you six years. And Yahuwah Eloheka shall bless you in all that you do. All the firstling males that come of your herd and of your flock, you shall sanctify unto Yahuwah Eloheka. You shall do no work with the firstlings of your bullock nor shear the firstling of your sheep. You shall eat it before Yahuwah Eloheka year by year in the place which Yahuwah shall choose, you and your household. And if there be any blemish therein, as if it be lame or blind or any ill blemish, 
you shall not sacrifice it unto Yahuwah Eloheka. You shall eat it within your gates. The unclean and the clean person shall eat it alike, as the roebuck and as the deer. Only you shall not eat at the blood thereof. You shall pour it upon the ground as water.